Hey, Super Cruisers, it's Kevin and Frank from Cruising with Wheels. Today it's all about accessible cruising and the top eight ports to visit. Now, some cruise ports are better than others for wheelchair users and people with limited mobility. Now, in an ideal situation, the port uh, should be easy to get from ship to shore and does sometimes depend on whether or not it is high tide or low tide. Now, with high tide, the ramp to get off the ship might be a bit steeper and um, you'll want the cruise port to also be within rolling or walking uh, distance uh, of destinations, attractions, um, and offer accessible transportation and be easy to navigate in a wheelchair. So let's get started and see what the experts are saying about the top eight um, uh, accessible cruise ports. Yeah, and, and it's in no particular order. Right. So let's see how many ports we've been to of what they say. Oh, is that the game we're playing? Yeah, that's the game. It's okay. going to be like check mark how many we've mm -hmm. been to that the experts say are the most success accessible. And, of course, this encompasses reports around the world. So first on the list is New York City. Been, been there. there. <laughs> Yep, it's one of the most popular cities in the world. Uh, there are three cruise port terminals, and they're all considered part of the New York City region. Uh, the first is the most popular, Manhattan, which we love. The Manhattan Cruise yes. Terminal, we've been to many times. Yes, uh, it has two, po uh, two, two piers, famous 88 and 90. The question always comes up every time we book. Why well, is it famous 88? Famous 88. Is that, is that what the question is? Maybe. <laughs> We're always like, which pier are we going out of? Is it 88 or 90? Which one? Which one? I don't know. They haven't said yet. Find out. Well, we've been there a bunch of times. So basically, we want to know so that we make sure that the cab driver takes right. us down the streets that we want to go <laughs> exactly. down. Exactly. Um, and not the long way around. it's all one ways. And yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, and and uh, they each of the piers can comfortably accommodate three ships at once, mm -hmm. you know, at each at each pier. So that's cool. Now, while all the New York City's cruise ports are doable with a wheelchair, Manhattan Cruise Port is the most convenient location for those wishing to see New York City. Mm -hmm. It's only a mile from Times Square, uh, so if you're up for a bit of rolling adventure, which we usually are. <laughs> a taxi won't even be necessary. So in order to accommodate uh, the large amount of cruise ships that were coming into the New York City area, additional home ports were built around the city. Uh, in 2004, Cape Liberty Cruise Port in New Jersey was built, and in 2006, the Brooklyn Cruise Terminal was built in Brooklyn, New York. Yeah, now, uh, Brooklyn was the second one uh that you can go to on our list it's located in red hook opposite governor's island uh the 200,000 square foot terminal can handle 4,000 passengers now the brooklyn terminal complex includes a rebuilt building uh bollards and fenders an internal roadway and a 500 car parking area and taxi and bus drop off areas as well close by are accommodations that range from large luxury hotels to small boutique hotels now the third out of the new york city list of course was the cape liberty which is located in new jersey jersey but uh <laughs> we consider this a very close yeah. to new york um basically I, I, I feel like New Jersey is just a borough of New York, even though it's not. <laughs> it's a sneeze uh, across the water. <laughs> it's located in ba Bayonne. Bayonne? Bayonne. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> New <Yeah>. Jersey, <laughs> at the north side of the two-mile-long pier uh, of the peninsula of Bayonne Harbor and is a former yeah. military ocean terminal. It offers convenient cruise access to anyone 
from the New Jersey and New York area. And in fact, many passengers will opt for this port instead of New York City's port as uh, it's much easier to get to and it's not too busy. Yeah, yeah. And we have no problem whether we cruise out of Manhattan or Brooklyn or Jersey. Don't mm -hmm. care. They're, they're really all right there. So, again, no matter what port you choose of the three, exploring the city should be a breeze thanks to New York's improved accessibility within the last few years. Ships can dock at all three New York City uh, cruise ports instead of tendering. That's the key to accessible cruising. <laughs> no tendering, which means wheelchair users can easily roll down or up the ramp to get off and on the ship. Next on our list is Nassau, Bahamas. Again, been there. Now, the cruise ship docks at uh, Prince George Wharf, which is just a short roll away from downtown Nassau. And after exiting the cruise ship, wheelchair users can roll to Bay Street within a few minutes. Um, from Bay Street, you can visit the Straw Market uh, for authentic souvenirs. Buy We've been shopping. there. Um, <laughs> go to the Pirate of Nassau Museum, or you can even grab some drinks uh -huh. and a bite to eat at, at Senior, Senior Frogs. Frogs. Now, I know a lot of you love Senior yes. Frogs. All of which of these locations, all of them, are wheelchair accessible. While there are plenty of wheelchair-friendly uh, things to do within rolling distance of the cruise port, wheelchair accessible transportation is also mm -hmm. available through outside companies. If you'd like to venture further into Nassau, deep be, dive, yeah. be sure to book an accessible transportation at least 48 hours in advance. That is the key. Right. What's on our list next? Next on the list is Skagway, Alaska. <laughs> been, been there. there. <laughs> That's right. We've been to Skagway. Yeah, we loved it. We were on what? The NCL Bliss. Now, Skagway is a tiny town that was popular during the days of the gold rush and still looks very much like it did back then in the golden days of the late 1800s. I was amazed. I mean, it really does take you back in time. Uh, the town is so small that you can roll from the cruise ships, all of which are docked uh, to the complete opposite end within like 30 minutes. Uh, there are curb cutouts, smooth terrains, uh, wheeler, wheelchair, I didn't have any issues because they're all like these smooth walking paths mm -hmm. uh, and crossing the street back and forth was quite easy. Now, during a roll through town, which we did, you'll see those old fashioned saloons, uh, souvenir shops, which we were able to get in and out of and shop. Uh, and you can do the White Pass Scenic Railway, which we did. Watch our video on the NCL Bliss. Um, trip that we did, because uh, it's one of Skagway's most notable excursions. Now, you can view stunning scenery and follow the Yukon Gold Rush Trail on this journey up the mountain and down the mountain. Uh, the train is very wheelchair accessible. They have a, a wheelchair lift that you roll on, and it brings you up to the train level, roll off, um, the cars have bathrooms in each one, which I was able accessible bathrooms. To, accessible bathrooms, which I was able to roll in and use. Thank goodness, because this excursion is about four hours yes. long, four and a half hours. I, I know. Uh, you had some trepidation. About I that. did. I was kind of nervous, um, but all I had to do was um, flip uh, open my uh, foot my footrest to the side, and easily you shoved me in, <laughs> closed the door. So yeah, it was cool. So all these things um, in terms of rolling around and doing excursions were, were very accessible. And now we're going to talk about someplace across the pond. Right. Barcelona, Spain. Now I have not been there. Been there! <laughs> <laughs> now Barcelona is hands down one of the most accessible cities in the world. Uh, and therefore its cruise port is one of the best for wheelchair users. It's also one of the largest cruise ports in all of Europe with many Mediterranean cruises embarking or returning. So accessibility is key. I can attest to that. Most cruise ships <laughs> dock at Barcelona's Mol Adeset cruise port, which is only about a 15 minute walk or roll from the city center. Or you might dock at Terminal Sud 
uh, Barcelona, uh, which is an even quicker five-minute walk or roll from the city center. Well, be they more like faster the fun. <laughs> <laughs> At Mol a Desert Cruise uh, Port, there are various terminals with duty-free shops, and if you'd like accessible transportation from there, numerous options are available. There are also accessible shuttles, taxis, yeah. uh, and the city's metros and buses are also great accessible options. I know. I was there in 2006. We did a two-week Mediterranean cruise. I was on the uh, Royal, uh, Royal Caribbean Serenade of the Seas. Mm -hmm. uh, Barcelona is, is just the most beautiful, beautiful city. Would love to live there. Uh, now, the T3 port shuttle has a wheelchair ramp and brings disabled cruise passengers from the accessible Barcelona cruise port to the Columbus Monument near the Gothic Quarter. Mm -hmm. uh, the medi medieval portion of Barcelona has fewer cobblestones than other medieval city centers, which, you know, I would be concerned about, you know, cobble, cobble, cobble in my wheelchair. Um, and then you get to La, La Rambla, which which is where all those street performers are. La Rambla. La Rambla. Rambla. Okay. A street in central Barcelona, very famous. It's a tree-lined pedestrian street. It stretches three-quarters of a mile, and it connects Placa del Catalunya in its center with Christopher Columbus Monument at Port Vell. La Rambla can be very crowded. It was, uh, especially during the height of the tourist season. Now, its popularity with tourists have... Uh, affected the character of the street, which has shifted in composition to pavement cafes, lots of souvenir kiosks, and I want to tell you one thing I noticed, flower shops everywhere, mm -hmm. street performers everywhere. Now, next up on the list is Grand Turk, Turks and Caicos. Now, both of us Gonna, gonna be, be there in 2023. 2023. So we're excited <laughs> about this port. We are excited about this port. Many of my customers have been there that are in wheelchairs. Uh, and as the capital of Turks and Caicos, Grand Turk is a slow-paced and relaxing cruise destination. Uh. So if that's your thing, check it out. Uh, and it's frequently a port of call. It's one of the most accessible cruise ports in the world. And cruise ships dock in Grand Turk, and wheelchair users will be just five-minute roll uh, to all the action. There are no chain hotels uh, or high-rises on the island, so pretty much everyone, able-bodied and wheelchair users alike, stay in the cruise port area for the entirety of their day uh, while they're in Grand Turk. Mm -hmm. Now, in the port, there are shops several restaurants, the beach, mm -hmm. and even a Margarita Margaritaville. I know. If you want to see what the rest of the island has to offer, accessible open-air tram tours are possible. Uh, and uh, the tram excursion can be booked through your cruise line or with accessible Caribbean vacations. So... That's awesome. I am looking forward. Mm -hmm. We did uh, we did an open air tram in um, Curacao, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's awesome. I'm excited. Now, next one on the list, um, they say the experts Monaco cruise port. Princess Grace of Monaco, rest her soul. Love to go there. Never been, <laughs> but would love to go. Want to be very James Bond in my wheelchair, because Monte Carlo, uh, which probably a lot of you know, uh, is an area of the Principality of Monaco. It's located along the French Riviera. Now, Monaco itself is one of the smallest countries in the world with a land border of around six kilometers and is run by the royal family, the Grimaldis. Now, to eastern borders, we have France, and to the western border, we have Italy. Now, Monte Carlo is famous for its casinos. Um, that's exciting. Uh, and it's featured in, again, many movies like the James Bond movies. Uh, and uh, they, they film it there because of his grand architecture, big and luxury yacht dock in the harbor. Uh, and, of course, they have the famous Grand Prix race. It is the place to be for the rich 
and famous. Now, the port in Monaco is a natural harbor that houses two large marinas with leisure boat and yacht mooring facilities. Uh, it has a dedicated pier for birthing cruise ships and super yachts. The cruise terminal is located next to Monaco's picturesque yacht harbor. The modern terminal has an adequate tourist information center. It is within walking distance of the old town and many local attractions. Now, by using four elevators and a flat 500-meter walkway, disabled cruise passengers can travel from the accessible Monaco <clears throat> cruise dock up to Monacoville. <laughs> disabled cruise visitors will need to decide whether they want to spend their time uh, in Monaco or driving along the famous scenic French Riviera. And you can also visit the Palace, Fort Antoine, or the Oceanographic Museum. Now the Naples cruise port is next on our list. Now I've been to Italy and I've seen this cruise port. Um, never been. Never been. Flown over it. <laughs> but the interesting thing is, is that Naples is one of the most important seaports uh, in Italy and it's among one of the largest in the Mediterranean Sea. The short distance between the city and popular um, destination, destinations Sorry, I'm tongue-tied today, such as Pompeii, Herculaneum, uh, and uh, Mount Vesuvius, mm. that's the famous volcano, the city of Sorrento and the island of Capri, uh, and the Amalfi Close, which is near and dear to my heart, makes it very popular uh, to be a cruise destination included on all these European yeah. cruise itineraries. You didn't go on a cruise, but you went to all I those places. I went to all these places. I know. Um, now, Naples Cruise Terminal Stazzoni Mar Etima uh, is located within walking distance from the historical heart of the city. Uh, and it consists of several piers, including Molo Bevarolo uh, and the main pier where cruise ships dock. Right, so that's where you're going to be. Now, the terminal building is large and features a wide variety of facilities such as a tourist information desk, a new shopping mall, numerous cafeterias and restaurants, ATMs, restrooms, as well as a large parking area for shore excursion buses. Now when you arrive at the accessible Naples cruise port, you'll be in the middle of the city with numerous accessible attractions to visit. Ferry transportation, train transportation, and accessible van transportation can bring you to so many points of interest and beyond. It is amazing when you see the picture of the cruise ship right there at, at the city. It's, it's, it's kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. Now, the last on our list is Istanbul Cruise Port. Now, neither of us have never, never been. Never been to Turkey. Uh, but it is on our list. And the cruise port in Istanbul is called Galata Port. And it's located on the shores of Galata, Karakoy, uh, and Trophane, or t excuse me, Tophane uh, neighborhoods. In the entrance of Bosphorus and Golden Horn. Uh, so take your time to visit the Hagia Sophia Museum. Love museum. <laughs> Top copy. Palace Museum, uh, Galata Tower, Go to the tower, and Taksim Square. You can take the Big Bus City Sightseeing Tour, uh, see a Whirling Dervish show, or a Bosphorus Cruise. Uh, the Istanbul Cruise Port Terminal is wheelchair accessible, and an accessible tram is available to travel from the cruise terminal into Istanbul's old town. Unfortunately, the tram is extremely crowded uh, in the morning, and a private driving tour may be a good option for those disabled cruisers who want to visit old town. Unless you want to immerse yourself in public transportation. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what the experts say. We have been to a lot of these ports, mm -hmm. and the couple we haven't been to are on our bucket list. Yes. Uh, let us know in the comments below if you've been into any mm -hmm. of these ports, and what do you think of them? Uh, and if there's one that's missing from the list that we should check out, 
comment that too. We want to thank you for joining us today. And remember not to just watch our videos, but become a regular Cruising with Wheels family member by clicking that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that little bell to get regular notifications of when our videos go live. Now, we're also on all the other social media platforms. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. <laughs> and remember to always travel safe and cruise often. Yeah.